Kia ora koutou, ko Emily toku ingoa, he kāko whare tauka aho, no mai ki toku whare. Hi everyone, I'm Emily, I'm an educator at the Otago Museum and welcome to my house. Today we're going to learn about plate tectonics and continental drift and we've got a really cool craft to help us do that. Now the earth is made up of layers and the outermost layer is very thin, it's called the crust. The crust is made up of tectonic plates, and there are two kinds of tectonic plates. There are heavier oceanic plates, and there are lighter continental plates. Those continental plates float around like rafts on the mantle. As the mantle churns underneath, they slowly move around, and that's called continental drift. I've got a few things here on the table to show you that's going to help you understand. So one moment. Alright, so here we've got a picture of Pangaea, the supercontinent you've probably heard of. Now Pangaea was formed when two smaller supercontinents came together. That was Laurasia and Gondwana. Now Laurasia is in the northern hemisphere, Gondwana in the south. Now about 175 million years ago, Pangaea broke apart. Laurasia broke up and became North America, Eurasia, which is uh, Europe and Asia. And Gondwana broke apart into several different land masses, which we've got here, and this is our jigsaw puzzle. We've got South America, Africa, India, Zealandia, Australia, and Antarctica. Now, these land masses continued to move apart until they were where they are today. India, interestingly, went up, crashed into Eurasia, and that's how the Himalayas were formed at the north of India. Now, the evidence of this continental drift comes from the rocks and the fossils. So, where these land masses join together, we can find similar rocks and similar fossils, like the Glossopteris plants which is an extinct fossil plant species. And we can see the evidence in plants and other organisms that are still around today, like nothophagus beech trees. So this craft, you need to cut out all the pieces of Gondwana and put them back together. And of course, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but they all fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. My extra challenge for you is once you've done that, Go on the internet and draw, look at for a picture of Laurasia and then draw it like I have and attach it to your Gondwana puzzle and then make a puzzle out of this as well and then you've got one big Pangaea puzzle. Have fun with this craft, it's really cool. Make sure you test everyone in the family and see if they can put Gondwana back together. Ka kite anō.